Hello and welcome to a new video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to another movie request through my Patreon. Today I'm going to react to Fargo. It's a movie from 1996. Yeah. Okay, so, for, so from what I read really fast, it's about this guy who uh, works in a car, car dealership and he got him into some financial problems. That is basically all I know about this movie up to now. So I think I'm just going to go in blindly and watch it. Um, see what I think about it. Before I start, I want to tell you that you can also recommend me your own movie, um, which you want me to react to. You can also recommend me a TV show episode or uh, just a like normal fan video. You can all find it on my Patreon and you can also find my uncut reaction to this movie on there. So if you're interested, make sure to check it out. It's all in the description. And then now I'm going to react to this movie. Oh, it's a real story. Jerry Lundegaard said you'd be here at 7.30. What gives, man? Pips at 8.30. We've been sitting here an hour. He's peed three times already. It was a mix-up, I guess. You got the car? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, sit down, then. We all set on this thing, then? Sure, Jerry, we're all set. Why wouldn't we be? I got every confidence here in the fellas. Here are the keys. Well, that's Why not it, Jerry. Why does it look so shady? Uh, the deal was the car first, then the 40,000. I thought Shep told you. Shep didn't tell us much, Jerry. Well, Except that you were going to be here at 7.30. Yeah, well, that was a mix-up then. You went your own way with kidding. Yeah. What? Okay, so I, I guess that's how he's going to get money then. You pay the ransom, what, 80,000 bucks? I mean, you give us half the ransom, 40,000, you keep half. My wife, she's wealthy. Her dad, he's real well off. I'm in a bit of trouble. So why don't you just ask him for the money? Yeah. Or your fucking wife, you know. Or your fucking wife, Jerry. They don't know I need it. See, so you're gonna let your wife be kidnapped then, huh? So there's that on top then. Oh fuck it, let's take a look at that Sierra. This story is wild already. How you doing, Lee? Yeah, pretty good. Who they playing? <laughs> I mean, they don't seem like the kind of family that wouldn't help you out. I mean, the wife seems pretty Just nice. Just McDonald's. Okay. Go to McDonald's instead of finishing here. What do you think they do there? I don't drink milkshakes, I assure you. It's okay, yeah. I can assure you, if me and my friends go to McDonald's, we eat. That shit's good. A lot of money. A lot of money. Yeah, but the difference... I'm not you're going to show this damn Grossman. It should work out real good for me and Gene and Scotty. Gene and Scotty never have to worry. But he has. Yeah, especially like when the granddad, like when he has a grandson, like why wouldn't you help them? I, th I guess it's just like a personal matter he got himself into, like it doesn't really have anything to do with the wife and son. Where's pancakes, Alice? You're nuts, we have pancakes for breakfast. <laughs> more pancakes. More, more fucking pancakes, come on. You can't ever have enough pancakes, let's be real. <laughs> this is so wild because it feels like there's like a split screen and this is like two couples or something, but this is one room. That's why we, we don't want you on it perhaps. Can you try to fucking window open hands? You ever been to Minneapolis? No. This guy's constantly trying to make conversation Wait, and he's so just like... Oh fuck it, I don't have to talk either, man. See how you like it. Oh, he will talk. Total fucking silence. <laughs> see? You can play that game smart guy. We'll just see how you like it. I think he's pretty fine with it, to be honest. <laughs> I feel bad for her. She seems so innocent, just enjoying her life. Jesus, can you be more obvious? Ah, <laughs> oh, poor woman. This is very much The Shining. This guy is so stupid. Is she in the shower? Oh my god, I really thought she got away for a second. It almost worked even. Fucking hell. What kind of finder's fee are you looking for? Huh? 
No, but wait, see, I was bringing you this deal for you to loan me the money to put in. It's my deal here, see. We're not a bank, Jerry. No, no, see, I... <laughs> I wonder what he got himself into, if you're this desperate. <laughs> Oh, like Gosh, you please. don't know what happened. I can't believe you'd put your wife through that trauma just to get money. Like, how big of an asshole are you then? I don't care how desperate you are. Wait, it's Jerry. I don't know what to do. It's Gene. Wait, I, it's Jerry. Wait, it's Jerry. I, I'm not even I, calling him yet. I hate him. Ah, uh, shit. Right, it's just the tags. I never put my tags on the car. Yeah, but there's a person who you I kidnapped in your car now. Why would you risk that? I right, just just keep it still back there, lady, or else we're gonna have to, you know, to shoot you. Is the new crowd answer? Oh, it certainly is, officer. Still got that smell. You're required to display temporary tags. Honestly, I feel like if the woman would have just screamed now, I was, uh, gonna tape up the... they're not gonna shoot her. Yeah, I mean, can you step out of the car, please, sir? I love how they're not showing the police officers and make him like more scary. Or like, okay, we're seeing him now. Like it gave a different vibe. Like, oh, 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 what the fuck? I did not. They, I didn't even think they'd actually have a gun. I mean, it is America though, but um, I don't know. I thought the, the guy just hired them and they like weren't like real criminals or whatever. Oh. They just like, I think they are, otherwise oh, they wouldn't okay. do jobs like this, but still it's, uh, okay. Aren't they like on a highway? Aren't people gonna see this? Oh no, they're not. Okay, I thought that for a second. Fucking hell. I was just uh, looking up if this story actually really happened because for some reason a lot of times um, movies say that and then it's not true and apparently it's not true. I mean the intercept, internet says it's mostly not true so I don't know why they put it there then. It seems pretty wild for it to be true so I was like hmm. I hate him. Just going around shooting people, sure. So then that already happens to you and then this weird fucking maniac does that. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, I never really get why people put phones next to their bed, but then I'm also thinking like we put our phone next to our bed. But it seems kind of wild that people did that because you can't put those phones on don't stir. <laughs> Oh, okay. Can fix you some eggs? Fine, Shabbat. Oh, she's also with the police. Or is she like a sheriff? Hi. Yeah? Frau needs a job. I love this shot, by the way. Like the way you see him eating in the kitchen, but you also see her like at the front door. You might need a little warm up. Thanks a bunch. Watch your step, I would hate this weather. I get cold from just watching it. I mean, it is pretty cold here as well, but not that I'm cold. Very surprised if our suspect was from Brainerd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I just think I'm gonna burn. Well, that passed. Yeah? Yeah, now I'm hungry again. This guy's smaller than his buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is so dorky for no reason. <laughs> Why did you throw away the coffee? Oh, jeez. Jeez. A million dollars is a lot of damn money. Yeah, but they're they got my daughter. Give them what they want. Why won't they let her go? You gotta listen to me on this one, Wade. Can't be this easy, right? The movie just started. And now is uh, is Scotty gonna be alright? Jeez. Yeah, oh yeah, oh you had a son. That's what I mean. It's not your, your wife you're putting it through it, also your son, it's just your family. Look at him, he's terrified. What do you think they're going to want? It's okay, Scotty. They're not going to want to hurt her. Right? What if something goes wrong, Dad? I don't know. Nothing's going wrong here. I hate this man, he's such an asshole. Give it in. We're going to get mom back for you, it's a deal here. Just say, Mom's down in Florida with Pearl and Marty. That's the best we can do here. What the 
fuck? Oh, on the fucking slippers. This is disgusting. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was him. Isn't he like uh, Twisty in American Horror Story? What the fuck is that? Yeah, that's him. I didn't know he was in this. Normally, he always plays the serial killer. Yeah. Owner was on the desk then. Oh, yeah. 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 But he dropped out though. Yeah, she dropped. Yeah. Jack, the sewer. Go first. Okay. The little guy, he was kind of funny looking. In what way? I don't know, just funny looking. Was he funny looking apart from that? Yeah. So, you were having sex with a little fella then? Uh huh. Oh, it's them. Like I say, it was funny looking. Right. What about the other fella? You know, you look like the Marlboro man. Oh, yeah? You know, because you smoked a lot of Marlboros. Uh huh. You know, like a subconscious type of thing. Oh, yeah, that can happen. You no, can see the IQ here. The yeah, is that useful to you? Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love how everyone's saying yeah here <laughs> constantly. Not just one character, every character. At least take off the fucking, how do you say, like hood or mask. Let her breathe. Again? Yeah, I guess she needs a phone next to the bed for like work, so I get it more now. Yeah. Yeah. I got an idea. How's that Sierra working out for you? So much deaths have changed, Jerry. Well? Blood has been shed, Jerry. What the heck do you mean? Supposed to be a no rough stuff type deal. Don't ever interrupt me, Jerry. Just shut the fuck up. Now with the entire 80,000. Oh, for Christ's sake, here. Now, we had a deal here. They have your wife and you got yourself into this, so... Yeah, what have you gotten yourself into? Oh, this is making me hungry. Damn it, I want to be a part of this thing. No, Wade, they were real clear. See, they only deal with me. They want my money, they can deal with me. Otherwise, I'm going to a professional. No, see. There's a million dollars here. I mean, I get no, him. It is see, his money. Not... Every time I think he's gonna park, he's not. And I hate it. It's really unsatisfying. What is he doing? Oh. Yeah, I decided not to park here. Well, what do you mean? You decided not to park here? So, but I decided not to take a trip if it turns out. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. We still got to charge you the four dollars. <laughs> See, there's there's a minimum charge of four dollars. I mean, if there's a minimum charge, you're gonna pay the minimum charge. I guess you think you're, uh, you know, like an authority figure. Big fucking man, huh? Here, here's your four dollars, you pathetic piece of shit. For the stress. Mr. Lundegaard had any new vehicles stolen off the lot in the past couple of weeks. Specifically a tan color Sierra, Mr. Lundegaard. Feed the blue ox. <laughs> Dude, you're not gonna get out okay, of that question. Back to a bunch. I'll let you get back to your paperwork then. For I'm life, how long has the wife been there minutes. now? At least two days, so, right? Um, Please! Oh, you look great. Oh, that's the guy who called her. Oh, you went and married an armed son of a gunner. Oh, yeah, a long time ago. Great. What brings you down? Okay, I wonder what he's now gonna, like, do in the story. Like, what's he gonna add? I was married. You might I still be here. Uh, I was married to Linda Cookstein. That is no, why don't you sit over weird. Here? I prefer that. I, I didn't mean to. No. <laughs> nah, it's not. I was married to Linda Cookstein. Linda. Uh, had leukemia. She passed away. No. She fought real hard. Better times, huh? Better times. But like, what does he want from oh, her? I saw you Apart from TV trying to hit on her. I always liked you. Too. I always liked you so much. That's weird. <laughs> I'm sorry. I see. You know. I shouldn't have done this. No, you shouldn't. I am so lonely. I mean, if it's just a friendly thing, sure, but to me it really seems like he's trying to hit on her because he's lonely. And she's literally married. He knows it, he just said it. And she's expecting their child. I'm... I hope he just meant it as a friendly thing. Because I feel kind of bad for him, but like, don't do that. <laughs> Going on. God 
fucked up. What the hell? I feel like this is also not gonna turn out all right because the dad is going now. I'll be back in a minute. I get that that kid doesn't want to be alone in that house anymore. you're making this like way worse i mean jerry did try to tell you that it should have been him to go there it's just like every time i'm like i don't think people are gonna get shot or whatever but then they do get shot oh he's gonna find the dad now may i have your ticket please oh you fucking dick He's just shooting everyone. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? I mean, yeah, if you hire actual criminals to do it, what the fuck did you expect? What? Okay. Are they ever gonna get the mom back? They're at the lake and I says, yeah, but this ain't that kind of place. Uh, jerk. I understand. And he calls me a jerk. So his last guy thought he's a jerk. He says, ah, he says, yeah, that guy's dead and I don't- I hate how these days. people and talk. Says, but what this guy look like? Hey, guy, kind of funny looking. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Imagine if everyone's describing you like funny looking. Just in general. I feel like he's not gonna give Jerry anything. Because I suppose Jerry asked for like a higher amount to the dad, right? If they wanted more. So, or would he really have just given up his part then? What if the snow melts? Like, what is he gonna do now? And the coxie. See, just a general asshole. And that's why he was also hitting on her. Yeah, I can see that. That is fucked up. We haven't had any vehicles go missing. Okay. Are you sure? I answered your question. I'm cooperating. And there's no, we're doing all we can. Well, heck, if you wanna if you wanna play games here, okay. I'll do a I feel like he's constantly right making now? himself look yeah. really suspicious right instead of just like, tootin'. yeah. Damn. Important to you? I'm sorry, sir. Damn. I hate this man. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> he's just leaving. He's fleeing the interview. Oh my god. What do you mean you're suspect? Yeah, suspicious. Just he's acting really yeah. suspicious. I'm pregnant. Guy. The way he's just chilling there in his one seat. What happened to her? She started shrieking. You know. Dude, maybe start by taking off the fucking hood. Get out of my truck. I'm taking Sierra. We split that. How the fuck do you split a fucking car, you dummy? He's the other for half. Hold on. I feel like he did way more effort I than got him. Fucking shot. Are we square? Yeah, you fucking mute. <laughs> Maybe check on the woman. This movie is wild. Yeah. Oh fuck. Please don't go there alone. Okay. Wait, maybe wait till the cars are there. Uh, always. They always go alone. I mean, I feel like there's only the one guy left now because he hit the other one with the shovel. What is he doing? Excuse me? Oh my god. It's so weird because in the beginning I thought they were just like helping him get the money. I didn't see any of this coming. Oh Doesn't even hear you. Wait for the other officers to arrive, please. The way she caught him red-handed, literally. Good. 
I honestly feel like it all could have worked out just fine. I mean, for like the main character, I'm not saying he's right in anything he did, but if they hadn't just started randomly shooting everyone, so that it could have, yeah, there. could have went really well. But these fucking morons. Three people in Brainerd. She did it all by herself though, arrest him. She didn't even need the other ones. I was just kind of scared he would start shooting her or something and then she'd be in danger, but nice, slay girl. A little bit of money. Oh, and they're also going after the guy now, I think, or not? I hope we're still gonna get to know if the mom returns, like the wife, and if the dad goes to jail. Please catch him. <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm glad they got him though. I feel like they kind of wanted it to make us feel for the main character because he's the main character and he got in all this shit and he really needed the money, but like, nah. Honestly though, I feel kind of more like she might be more like the main character, especially in the second part. Heck, Marlena, we're doing pretty good. Okay, so did the, like the wife, did she die from Jerry? I feel like it's weird that we didn't see anything about that anymore. Oh yeah, she actually dies. Okay. What the fuck? Huh. That wasn't completely clear to me. I thought she might have just like fainted or whatever, but um, yeah. The, the Wikipedia, like the fandom Wikipedia says that she was actually killed by the, like the, the one of the criminals, the one who was chilling in his onesie there. Damn, that was something. And honestly, not really what I expected. It also was way more dark than I thought it would be. I felt like there would have been like kind of a funny twist maybe because just some parts, like especially the dialogue, they tried to make it a little funny. So I thought, okay, then maybe the story also has like some funny sides maybe, but it was really dark. Especially the way th those criminals just started shooting everyone at some point. And then in the end they killed each other or like, um, yeah, one killed the other, put him in the fucking machine. Um, it was a really cool scene, I think, when uh, the chief caught him like red-handed. That was crazy. But in my mind, like, I didn't have too many expectations because I didn't read too much about it yet. Um, but like in the beginning, when he explained the plan to like kidnap the wife and get the money, I really thought they were just gonna do that. That was gonna work out, and then maybe the wife would return, and then. Um, it was more about like finding out that he was behind this. I really thought that would be like kind of the movie, but it was way different than I thought it would be. I think it was a good movie. I'm just not sure if it's like my kind of movie. I mean, I'm glad I watched it because it was pretty interesting. And like I said, totally not what I expected, but I feel like this would not be a movie I would just watch like out of myself. But yeah, it was interesting overall. I'm just kind of like shocked right now. <laughs> like what the fuck? Everyone just started shooting each other and killing each other. And I think I was mostly shocked when, uh, like, I, I don't know all the names, but like the, the dad, like the dad-in-law, when he died. I was also thinking, okay, but Jerry warned him and then he still went there. He kind of got it coming because if kidnappers say that, you've got to be really careful about that, I think. But still, I thought, okay, he has the money. He's just going to give the money and then I guess they're just going to let the woman go. Maybe not right then and there, but still, they're probably just going to let her go or whatever. It just turned out so dark. I think that's like, yeah, my, my main thought right now. Like, this turned out way darker than I thought it would be. But yeah, overall, pretty nice movie. Like I said, for not really my movie i think so sometimes i was like okay let's get on with this and go to the next part like let something happen because i gotta say a lot of times when they were in the car dealership i was like okay let the story evolve now come on but yeah overall nice movie um i have fun watching it so uh or fun can you say fun i mean everyone was dying i don't know yeah i think that was my reaction then i hope you liked it and like i said if you also want to recommend me a movie check out my patreon or if you want to see my full reaction to this movie uh, the link is in the description and then that was it so did you like it then please leave a like subscribe and um yeah then i hope to see you at my next reactions bye